everyone. Let us learn about prepositions and their correct use. Before we start, I request you all to please subscribe my channel. If you like the video, give a thumbs up and share it with your friends. So let us start with prepositions. What is a preposition? A preposition is a word that links a noun, pronoun or a phrase to other words in a sentence. So it is just like a linking word which is creating a link between other words of a sentence with a noun, pronoun or a phrase. Now the actual dictionary meaning of this word preposition is placing before. It means placing before. So we always use prepositions just before a noun or a pronoun and they help to link them with the rest of the sentence. So it is placed before a noun or a pronoun. Let us take a few examples of prepositions now. In, on, at, for, under, near, in front of. All these are prepositions and there are many more prepositions. Kinds of prepositions. There are three kinds of prepositions used. The first one, if your preposition refers to time, that is when, when. So then that preposition is preposition of time. If the preposition refers to direction, in which direction the object is moving, or it is referring to the direction of noun or pronoun, then it is preposition of direction. If the preposition refers to place and position, that means where, if it is answering the question where, then that is preposition of place or preposition of position. Let us discuss them now in detail. To start with, preposition of place and position. They are used to denote place or position of a noun or a pronoun and they also help us to link them with the rest of the sentence. For example, in, on, at, up, top, under, inside, down, below, behind, in front of, etc. All these prepositions help us to Pinpoint the place or the position of a noun or a pronoun in the sentence. For example, my pen is in my bag. So where is my pen? In my bag. So that means this word in, it is a preposition and it is trying to pinpoint the position of my pen. There are many more other prepositions which help to pinpoint the position of a noun or a pronoun in the sentence. But we often get confused with these prepositions. So let us try to understand what is their correct use. This preposition on. On suggests on the surface. So just have a look over here. There's a table here and right on the table we have a cup. On the table. Cup is on the table. So that means it is right on the surface. The second preposition here is above. What do we mean by above? Above is again a preposition and it suggests at a higher level. Higher level can be anywhere. It can be towards the left, towards the right, but it has to be higher than the object that we are talking about. So here, this football is on a higher level than the table. So I'll say the football is above the table. The next preposition here is over. What do we mean by over? Over suggests vertically above, right on the top. Have a look to this picture. Where is the ball right now? Yes, the ball is right on the top, absolutely on the top. So that means this ball is over the table. Below, below suggests at a lower level. It has to be lower. It can be anywhere. Can you see the cup right now? It is below the table. It can be towards this side also. You can reverse the side also. That's all right. Left, right does not matter. If the cup is below the table. Under suggests vertically below, right below it. 
So have a look to this football again. It's right below. So it is under the table. We often get confused with these prepositions and we do not understand when to use them and how to use them. So please try to understand what they actually mean. There are more prepositions where we get confused like between and among. We generally get confused whether in this sentence we should be using the word between or among. Now let us see what is the difference in their use. Between is used with two things. Whenever we are talking about two things, only two things, then we will use this preposition between. But if we are talking about more than two, then we will not use between. For example, Ambala. Ambala is between Chandigarh and Delhi. So here I'm talking about two places, Chandigarh and Delhi. And Ambala is in between them. So since I'm talking about two places and Ambala is in between them, that is why I've used the word between and not among over here. The second preposition is among. Among is used with more than two things. We use it when we are talking about more than two things. Two things, we use between. If you're talking about more than two, then we'll use this preposition among. For example, the mobile was kept among other electronic goods. So there are many electronic goods and among them, the mobile was kept. Easy enough? At is another confusing preposition. It is used as a preposition of place and it is also used as a preposition of time. As a preposition of time, we'll talk about at later on in this video. Right now, let us just concentrate on at as a preposition of place. So whenever we are talking about a small area, small town, you can say, a small village, a small city, then we will use this preposition at. But if we are talking about a larger area, bigger towns, bigger cities, states, countries, then we use the preposition in. When we are talking about two things at a time, two places at a time, so for the smaller region, we will use at and for a larger area, we will use in. Let us take an example for this. He was born at Mumbai. In Maharashtra, so out of these two, Mumbai is a city, it is smaller. So we'll use at with it. And in Maharashtra, because Maharashtra is a state, it is very big. So we'll use the preposition in over here. Prepositions like in and on, they are used to denote a particular position. So they are going to denote a particular position, show a particular position of the object. But whenever we are trying to show movement, when we are trying to imply movement in the sentence, there has been a movement of the object, then we use prepositions like into, upon and out of. To understand it better, let us take a few examples. Look at this sentence here. The pen is in the box. So there's a box here and there are many pens. So I'm talking about any one particular pen here. The pen is in the box. There is no movement. I'm just trying to pinpoint the particular position of the pen. So in will be used. But in the next sentence, I'm trying to talk about movement. Can you see in the picture, this girl is entering the room. There is movement involved. She came into the room. She's moving right now. She just came into the room. So there is movement involved. Whenever there is movement involved, we use prepositions which imply movement. So into shows movement. Let us take another example. The cat jumped. Could you, can you see that? She just jumped. The cat just jumped. The cat jumped upon the table. So again, movement involved. So that is why I've used this preposition upon, which implies movement. Moving on to the next one, that is prepositions of time. Prepositions of time refer to time or duration of an action. They are used when an event happens. For example, since, for, at, around, in, by, before, after, during, till, until, on, from, to, etc. All these are prepositions of time. But you must be wondering why I have highlighted at, in, on. Only why uh, they have been highlighted here. 
because these prepositions we have discussed them earlier also they are used as prepositions of place and position also and we have discussed about them now we are going to talk about them as to how we are going to use them as prepositions of time this preposition at is used to refer to a festival meal time or any particular point of time of the day okay if you're talking about any one particular festival then we can use this preposition at if you're talking about a particular meal time for example lunch dinner then again we can use the preposition at let us take an example can you see this picture here both of them are having lunch together we were together at lunch on is used with days and dates whenever we are referring to a day or dates then we can use this preposition on for example i will go on saturday i was born on 30th if we are talking about year month season or any part of the day then this preposition in is used for example if you are trying to tell somebody that you were born in so and so year so you'll say i was born in 1980 i was born in 2001 example again flowers bloom in spring so when we are talking about any particular season also we use in if you want to talk about a particular month again you will use this preposition in prepositions of direction prepositions of direction refer to direction or movement of a noun or a pronoun in the sentence and there are many prepositions of direction for example towards across through out of around over into up down past etc all these involve movement if you notice carefully this first one that has been highlighted over there that is over we have discussed this earlier also as preposition of place and position whenever we talk about something which is just vertically on the top of an object then we use this preposition over as preposition of position but whenever there's movement involved also and that thing is on the top we can use this preposition over have a look to this picture given over here can you see the dog dog jumped and it did not touch the fence it was over so the dog jumped over the fence it was on the top and there is movement involved moving on to the next one can you see the next picture yes dolphins what are they doing dolphins they are diving and there's movement involved so the dolphins dived into the sea another example is she swam across the river again you can look in at the picture given here again there is movement involved so she swam across the river so whenever we are referring to direction or some kind of movement we use these prepositions i hope this video will help you all to understand prepositions well in case you still have doubts you know you just need to drop a message and i'll get back to you thank you everyone for being with me and do not forget to give a thumbs up if you like the video share it with your friends and subscribe my channel so that you get updates on all the latest videos that i am uploading bye for now and see you all again very soon